this would give you an understanding of you know the climate centered around online schooling in Jamaica. Take a listen. Good morning, Miss. I'm born at yard. Me no feel to do work because when I do work at yard, we can't all hear what I say. And if you come out, you can fight. Did you understand what that child was saying? He says, good morning, miss. Right? He's bored. School is boring from him yard. Right? And he can hardly understand what the teacher is saying. And the teacher needs to turn up our look of voice some more. Now, he's being coached by an adult because you can hear the adult mm -hmm. in the background. Well, at least he started out polite. polite. Well, they usually he are He said polite. good morning. Okay, this is another voice note where a young boy known as Sheldon <laughs> is clearly fed up just four days into online schooling. Miss, I am taking a break right now. Sheldon, we have a set time for break and a set time for lunch. You don't decide when you take a break, all right? Just sit and wait until we say it's break time. still you so much me that funny, me not write nothing. You read Zenton back where yeah. me not write. If you read Zenton upside down or back where anywhere they not turn, me not write nothing. And daddy not there. <laughs> so Sheldon is basically telling his teacher, for those of you who might not understand the audio, right? He might take a break for go watch a show. Yeah. Cause I'm bored. Yeah. Right? The teacher's now saying, Sheldon, listen. You are not allowed to tell us when it's break time. We tell you when it's break time. Mm -mm. Sheldon is a sign worker. Sheldon has said, oh, me now do none of that work there. Matter of fact, daddy not there home, so you can't tell nobody. Simple. But listen, why it sound like he is complaining about some bills he has to pay? <laughs> like, that's just, a child should know his or her place. Crazy. Oh, 7 8 So this is what's happening. This is some of the feedback based on online schooling, right? We tend to say that the adults are unruly, hmm. but the children can also be unruly as well. The teacher, them have them hands full. I just want to say that. Well, you know, the kids have to learn it from somewhere. And in this audio um, clip, a man messaged an entire class to say he would like his number removed so he no longer gets WhatsApp messages from the school. But take a listen as to why he is demanding to be removed. You can delete this number, 356-81307. After this, I am no longer the parent of that child. That child is not mine. And I need that my name or number on that file to delete and ask the group. I did tell the last teacher last year about it. And I don't know why she didn't get rid of my number, so... Let's get rid of that number, please. And thanks. So in this situation, I can interpret that this man pretty much thought that the child was his child. Mm -hmm. He then found mm -hmm. out that it wasn't his child, so he mm -hmm. took away himself. And um, the school still has his contact, so they are still contacting him mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. a child that he claims does not belong to him. Call your life. You know, what's, what's really going on home in Jamaica with these children? Seriously. <laughs> When we were growing up, could we talk to our parents like that, our teachers? Absolutely not. These are disrespectful. That's the way they talk. That's the way. When you hear they do these things at school, that's the way they talk to their parents' home. Mm -hmm. So they come to school and say, that is just rude and disrespectful. Very disrespectful. I am so, dis I am so disgusted. And so this, um, you know, seems so bad, my country. And these kids can't even wipe their face good. Can't even bathe. Can't blow their nose. And that's the way you speak to your teacher? A grown person that gives you education, God help them. Mm. It's a problem. Sh shouts to Junior P. We just hit me up and said, "Why, why Sheldon couldn't be my pitney? <laughs> <laughs> why Sheldon couldn't be my pitney? Because I, I know some of us is like, whoa. Yeah, man. But oh. you can't blame it solely on the kids alone. This next clip that I'm about to play for you kind of gives you an understanding of the situations that. So the society on a whole has to face in Jamaica.
Take a listen to this. Mm. Me have no phone, you know, miss. I uh, mean, I give Pitney no my phone, my phone. I'm not leaving my phone with no Pitney for me. You know, when I win the letter, they call me and can't get me. I'm picking them again. <laughs> Kids school in your yard, we pay for it. I me get one phone, we make you know. If not let me phone give no Pitney for me, I buy a lot of hard for So the lady says she mm -mm. not leave. She's not leaving her phone mm -mm. to for her child to get any education mm -hmm. simply because. <laughs> She's playing a lot of hard, hard for her there, and she don't want a lot of people them call her and tell her that she's winning. She won, and I is that Pitney answer the phone? Yeah, yeah. Seven one eight five five four eighty five ninety eight is that number in studio? Call your life. Chen, what kind of parents is that? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, she's not leaving her phone to give her kid for him to get education. Mm -mm. Because when she wins the lot, she wants to be there. I hope she never wins zilt. That's, the, that's why these kids are the way they are. Call your life. Respect to you and the panel, Bridget. Give thanks, my brother. I think one of the things we have to realize is a new platform to do these students in Jamaica. Especially the ones them who don't used to doing online learning. It's going to be difficult and very challenging to them. Mm -hmm. So we have to give and take. Yes, they can be very disrespectful. But at the same time, we got to look behind that and say, what's, what's the problem? Thank you, sir. There are other issues that, I, that, that, that surround this whole online.